Ladies and gentlemen, after a week, after a whole week of players not being able to log in into the game and play, we finally got the patch. And uh, I didn't have any issues because I haven't participated in Reptile event this season. But uh, if you had a login issue, please let me know in the comments it's fixed now because uh, th this was the main point for this patch. I... When I first saw this patch uh, announcement that they're working on it, I was super excited. I honestly gave <clears throat> gave developers props for making a patch with something that actually benefits players. And uh, I cannot wait to see if I was right or wrong. So here is the patch note. So let's go through these fast and then we're going to test it out in an actual game. Heavily reduced cameo fight modifier frequency in the crypt fights. I love to hear that. Love it. Cameo now available for players to use in Faction Wars. Well, it technically was before. It's just you couldn't see it. But if you had Cameo selected, you, would, you were still able to use it. Cameos and temporarily excluded from the opponent's teams in Faction Wars. Okay, I, I honestly, nobody cares about Faction Wars. Lowered overall AI Cameo difficulty. Thank you. Oh, that's huge. That's... Pretty much that's only for crypts, because for some reason there is no cameos in towers. I thought at least Battle 200 was going to have cameos, but I did not see cameos in any battles in this tower. Crazy. Uh, they are in crypts, but towers got robbed? What the hell? Uh, lowered the frequency of AI using cameo attacks to attack 2. That is good news. That, that was very annoying. Uh, lowered cameo upgrade prices. So they just lowered the prices, but it's still crystals. Okay, we'll see how expensive it is now. Updated cameo talent trigger chances. Oh, the talent. Okay, we're going to check the talent out as well. Fixed various cameo-related bugs. Uh, I hope you didn't fix uh, certain characters being able to go to the edge of the map. Because that was a fun glitch. I, I didn't want it fixed. Anyway, let's fire up the game. And let's see if this patch actually made the game great again. All right, so I was just reading the comments right now, and uh, it seems like the people are still crashing. It seems like update literally did not fix the issue. What? Okay, so they, they made, a, they made a, a, the post 19 minutes ago. Well, at the time of recording. There is another issue we need to fix to fully resolve the crash related to Reptile event. We are working on the resolution and will share an update soon. Affected players will be compensated with darkest not night noob cybot. 1,000 combat pass points and 100 dragon crystals. Holy crap, people are getting free noob cybot? Now that's good. I, I would just take a break from a game for a week to just get free noob cybot. That's a win in my book. 1,000 combat, uh, combat pass points would be good for me because I don't grind combat pass. But if somebody does, that's not going to do anything for them. But I guess it's going to make it easier and allow you to skip your least favorite tasks, which is good. And 100 dragon crystals, which is... Decent amount. Honestly, pretty decent compensation. Yep. Does not work. Does not work. I, I guess people still can't log in. That's ridiculous. My biggest fear for the update 6.0.y came true. The crypt is heavily nerfed. Zero fusion up cards after two runs. It sucks. What? Multiple people say they nerfed crypt drops. Okay, I was, I was worried when I saw that they're working on a batch for crypts for cameos. I was like, I hope they don't nerf. I, I actually, I think I mentioned it in my video. I hope they don't nerf the drop rates because now for the first time, in my opinion, crypt is actually worth grinding. And uh, it seems like, it seems like people are still having issues. And, uh, I mean, it, it seems like they did it. It seems like they really rolled back the chances to get stuff from crypts back to what it was. So, well, thanks for killing crypts again. Back to the towers, I guess. They also didn't fix uh, MK11 Cabal issue when he doesn't remove the stun on his teammates. Uh, they didn't fix varmints like he had max stability pretty much not working. 100 dragon crystals is nothing for all of this. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to agree. It seems like nothing got fixed for the summon pack, uh, so people still can't claim their rewards if they opened the beginner packs 
a little bit too early last update yep no i'm reading all of this and uh i have never seen more frustrated people in mq mobile all right so i just checked the cameos and it doesn't it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like they reduced the upgrade cost by that much. I, I personally can't even tell the difference. I don't remember. I feel like they maybe reduced a couple f last fusions. So, like, first fusions on your special attacks cost the same. It's just the last ones are maybe slightly cheaper. If somebody has the numbers, uh, like, how much it costs now to fully max out two abilities versus how it was much it was before, it seems like the difference is very minimal. Maybe 10%. And uh, it's still, it's still crypt, uh, it's still dragon crystals. It doesn't make sense to me to use dragon crystals to get these cameos and to upgrade them. Upgrading should have been done with coins. Coins, that's what coins are for. Regular character special attacks are upgraded with coins. Why can't we upgrade uh, cameo special attacks with coins? Make it more expensive, but make it coins. It makes no sense. This just feels like a like a money grab and try to to make people spend even more dragon crystals it's especially considering how most of the cameos are completely worthless so at least if it was coins people would be able to level up the temporary cameos but right now it doesn't feel like it's worth it to invest lots of dragon crystals into a cameo that you know you're going to change down the road when you get a better one it's just it's just a flawed system and i don't think their update solved anything so let's, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do a crypt run right now. I have seen a lot of comments, people saying it, it, it does seem like you have much less cameos in crypts. Uh, sometimes you get a whole run without a single cameo. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two. But even when you do, it seems like it is easier to deal with them. They don't spam it as much as before. So that's good. But all of that would mean nothing if the crypt drop rates actually went back to what they used to be, which is pretty much non-existent so if somebody played some a couple crypt runs if you have any observations whether they reduce the drop rates or not please let me know in the comments tell me if it's even worth it to try to grind crypts also let's see what's the new uh what's in the new crypt season so a lot of people got screwed and weren't able to even buy the noob cybot i guess they are gonna get free copy from compensation but then they should give people two free copies. Like, they not just missed out on Crypt, they also missed out on playing for a whole week. So they probably could have grinded way more. So one Noob Saibot doesn't seem enough. Uh, we have Melina. Ooh, Lizard Baraka. Oh, my. I might actually... Nah. Okay, I will give it a try. I will try a couple Crypt runs to see if the drop rates are still decent or are they back to being complete garbage. And uh, a lot of people say that nothing got fixed. Literally nothing changed. Except the cameo difficulty in Crypts. They didn't fix Cabal. They didn't fix uh, Varmint's Lucky Hat. They didn't fix uh, the the Summon Packs uh, tracking issue. Which they literally put in the patch notes as fixed. But I haven't seen anybody say that was actually fixed. And a lot of people still having problem with not counting certain packs. I don't know. If you read the comment section on X, it's it's a dumpster fire. It it was huge, huge failure. They did the update, nothing changed. Then they saw all the all the backlash, and then they had to basically uh, post an update that oh, turns out there is one more thing we need to fix. Yeah, right. You you thought you fixed it. You thought you fixed it. You didn't test it. Literally. Nobody, not a single person I've seen, uh, actually got the game working who, who had crashes on login. It didn't help a single person. So I don't know how you test it, then release, and now you have to make a patch for a patch because you couldn't fix it from the first try. And it's not like it's a new feature. It's a Reptile event. We had it for years. How do you mess some, something up? I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments your impressions from patch 6.1 i'll see you in the next video subscribe for more i'm gonna go check this crypt uh, crypt out and have a good day